Hey, so we have been in Edinburgh for a few days and I wanted to do like a mini haul of the things we bought on our first day. Um, it's really not that much stuff, but uh, it's just basically some stuff from New Look and also from Boots, which is a drugstore. Um, we went in there to buy a sunscreen and um, aloe vera because we went on a hike and we got really really sunburned so I went in there and I bought this is the um sunscreen that I bought it's like the boots brand um it's really thick but uh it's been working and it was like four pounds or something like that so we went in and we got like these two things and then I also picked up some other like more fun stuff while I was in boots so let me show you that okay so here's the first thing it's called um, Face Halo, uh, the modern makeup remover. I think this brand is owned by Chloe Morello on YouTube. I could be wrong, but um, that's why I picked it up, so I hope I'm right. But it's like, I wonder if you can see how to, how to use. So you just add water, and then it's supposed to remove your makeup, and then you can just shove it in the washing machine. So this seems too good to be true. Like it's literally just like a sponge or a, like a, um, what would you call this? Like a towel or whatever type of thing in a circle that you remove your makeup with. And apparently it's supposed to like something about the fibers or whatever. Um, they're supposed to just take off your makeup without having to use any um, sort of product. So I think that sounds amazing because you save money on like the product um, to take off your makeup. And then also, um, like you can just stick this in the washer and it's apparently supposed to like take off your mascara and everything. So this was about five pounds. Um, tell me if these are actually really good and really work because I'll pick up a few more for my friends. I just picked up the one for now. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing I bought. Um, where's the other thing? Here's the other thing I bought and I'm really um, excited for this because I heard really good things about this brand Isle of Paradise and I don't think you can get it in Canada. Please let me know if you can because then I'll be upset. But um, it's self tanning drops and I can't remember who I heard about this from but I think it was again another UK YouTuber that was talking about it because um, it's supposed to be like it's vegan, it's cruelty free and it's organic. And I, I really don't know how they're doing this because it's like a green or maybe the bottle is green and it's clear. But either way, like it's not brown. So I guess it like turns brown. Um, and these are drops. I think that you can kind of mix them with other stuff. I haven't read the directions yet. Um, add to your favorite moisturizer. Yeah, so I guess you add like a couple drops into your, into your face cream and into your body cream and it tans you. And... If this stuff works, like, it's freaking genius, and I need, like, 800 bottles. So I don't know whether I'm hoping that this works or it doesn't work, because you can't get it where, where I'm from. Um, but, yeah, this was almost 20 pounds, so it's not cheap, though. So, I don't know. I will keep you updated on whether these two products work, but I really did want to try them. And honestly, when I was in Boots, I feel like I could have picked up everything from this line because it all looked really good and there was like light, medium and dark. I went with medium because um, I don't know sometimes when like British people tan they tan like a lot like they go real 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 dark so I was kind of worried about that so I just picked up the medium for now um, but yeah um, these are just the stuff from Boots and then I also have uh, these pants I bought from New Look that are freaking gorgeous I might have to put them on to show you, but basically here's the fabric at least. Um, oh, and I have the receipt so I can tell you how much they were. They were um, 29 pound and five pence. Oh, that was for the bag, so 29 pound. Um, and these are the pants. Okay, well this is the waistband. So I'll have to show you them, but they're basically like really flowy, um, uh, like linen pants with this like, um, what do you call this? Like a leaf design. 
and I'm so happy with them. They're like the coolest pants and when I wear them, they're really tight. Um, like I wonder if you can see like the waist is actually very like small. So they're actually really tight going over your hips, but they fit really nice on your um, waist if they go over, if you're like um, hourglass or um, pear shaped. Um, it's a kind of a struggle getting them over your hips, but once you do, it's worth it because they are very comfortable and they sit so nicely. So I'll put them on and I'll show you. Okay, so here are the pants. Um, they look like this. But can you see that they're like just super like flowy and and beautiful? And I think they'll go really nice with like a black or white um, cami camisole top or crop top. And like the pants are, are like this, like they open, like they actually open all the way. So like there's my leg. And they're just like flowy and and it feels so beautiful. Like it just like I could wear these forever. So yeah, but the waist is actually quite um like it's snug. It's not tight, but it's like getting it over your hips. It can be a little bit of a struggle. But yeah, so these are from New Look and they were 29 pounds. And yeah, that's it for my haul today. Um Thanks for watching. I'm sure I'm going to buy a lot more stuff before I leave because after we go to, like after we finish here in Edinburgh, we're going up to Loch Ness and then we're going down to um, uh, London. So I'm sure I'm going to buy so much stuff in London. So I'll tell you about all of that then. Um, thanks for watching. Please uh, follow or subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.